I'm Reb Beach from White Snake. I'm Tommy Aldridge with White Snake. This is my first time I've played this particular festival. Um, playing outdoors is always a gas, and the more people, the better, you know. But um, it's a little muddy to and from the stage, yeah. hence the hoof covers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a blast being here. So many, so many guys that run across over the years. The best part about it for me is that I get to see all my old friends from all the old 80s bands back when I was in Winger. Like I just talked to Snake from Skid Row and you know, Troy from Tesla. And um, so it's a great time to bring all the bands together to say hi to each other and say, how's the fam, you know? But of course, playing to that many people is, uh, is always exciting. Personally, I approach every show, whether it's 600 or 600,000 people, you know, I try to have the same mentality and try to get up for it in my brain, you know? There are a lot of bands here and you, t t to some degree, try to win those that are here to see someone else over to your way of thinking. So it's, it's somewhat of a challenge. And playing a good show night after night after night, that's really my primary motivation. So I'll, like I said, if it's 600 or 600,000, you know, I still have to go out there with the same intentions. You got David Coverdale as your front man. You kind of can't go wrong. And he speaks UK. Brit to Brit, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna hurt, you know. So we've just released our new record, Flesh and Blood. Um, that, uh, you know, sounds great. It's a mixture of kind of the 70s and 80s uh, sound of White Snake. So it's, it's a very diverse record, but I think really, um, really captures the essence of White Snake over the decades, you know. So true to form, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From my standpoint, it, it's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. I've done new albums with, with uh, Dokken and Winger and, um, and I've never had it received like this because the songs are very, very hooky, um, much like kind of they were in the 80s, you know? And just after hearing one chorus, you get it, you know? It's a, there, there's a lot of one-liners like, trouble is your middle name, and hey you, and shut up and kiss me. And it, they're just kind of gang vocal, you know, pour some sugar on me kind of songs. Um, so it's been incredibly successful for a new album live. It, it, it kind of lends itself to live performance, especially in, a, in an environment like this. And it takes a little bit of bravery, or some people would say stupidity, to play four or five songs off a new album, especially at outdoor shows and stuff. And unlike days past or years past or decades past, where there'd be a lot of airplay so people would know what to expect when you get in, yeah. these days it's so much different. So coming out of the you know, coming out of the shoot with four or five new tunes off a new record, which is what we've been doing live, it's uh, it's not for the it's it's not for the uh, meek. You have to be a little uh, brave or stupid, one of the two. <laughs> we haven't quite decided which. Yet. It's working really well, though. It's working. Yeah. It's amazing. They sing us, it after the first chorus. <laughs> ask yeah. us after, after this, this show. show. <laughs>